this is the beginning of Lecture 19, Part 2. Um, we just finished with Lecture 19, Part 1, and we came to the conclusion that there are some gases called greenhouse gases that will absorb infrared radiation and um, re-emit it and help trap and keep the Earth warm. Um, and so the question is, you know, has the concentration of greenhouse gases been the same over time? Has the climate been the same over the whole Earth's history? So if you go back four billion years ago, um, you'll find that the actually the carbon dioxide concentration was a thousand times greater than it is uh, today. And uh, the, that is um, a good thing because um, four billion years ago the sun uh, was a colder sun and it produced about 30% less uh, energy. And so if there weren't that greater concentration of carbon dioxide to trap more heat, then the Earth uh, may not have evolved as it has. Now, over time, the carbon dioxide that is in the atmosphere has dissolved in the oceans. And, um, and that has served to, to, uh, to limit the carbon dioxide, decrease the carbon dioxide concentration in the atmosphere. Now, three billion years ago, um, at the advent of, um, of uh, small plants in the oceans um, that could undergo photosynthesis, that was another way that carbon dioxide was trapped from the atmosphere and then oxygen was produced. So the atmosphere started changing from an atmosphere with more carbon dioxide and little or no oxygen to an atmosphere containing oxygen. Now, a hundred million years ago, um, dinosaurs did live um, in a climate that was warmer because the carbon dioxide concentrations were still higher even a hundred million years ago. So over time, um, you know, the, the climate has changed. Okay, so how do we know that? There was nobody around back then, obviously, to, um, to take data um, to measure the temperature uh, of the Earth or, or the concentration of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. Well, uh, there are ways that we can um, uh, predict what the concentration of the carbon dioxide was in the atmosphere and what the temperatures were um, eons ago. There's a two, two, two major ways. Um, to get data from millions and millions of years ago, um, scientists have drilled uh, down into the rock in the bottom of the ocean. And by looking at the change in the types of fossils um, that, that lead, that tell them, you know, the types of plants that were um, available, the, the amount of limestone, calcium carbonate, and whatnot um, in that rock, they can go back over time and figure out uh, what the concentration of carbon dioxide was and the, and the temperature. More recently, um, to get data for more recent times, there's this um, ice core data. And what the scientists do, this is a picture of it, what the scientists do is they, they have these um, drills and they drill down and get uh, ice. And you can see the, this is the, the ice drill. You see the ice coming out here and they're collecting it. And so they go down to the Antarctic where there's been ice accumulating for hundreds of thousands of years. And they just drill down and, and kind of like looking at the rings on a tree. Um, to date a tree, you can see the changes um, by year in the, the snowfall and how, you know, how cold it is it will tell you how much, um, you know, snow there is. And, there's, and then it, it's seasonal, um, the, the, the way that the ice cores change. And so they can go back in time and, and look um, at uh, the, the data that's trapped in the ice.